In this video, I spent 20 days building one of the most popular characters in Honkai Star Rail, Kafka. I've always wondered how long does it take to fully build a character in Star Rail, and I'm glad I'm doing my first 20 day series on Kafka. If you're new here, I always do this series focusing on one character just because I want to see how far I can make a character strong only in a few days. With that said, let's get something clear here. Kafka is not DPS, sadly. She enables DOT characters like Shampoo or Depart's hot sister, but that will not stop me from building Kafka. So for the next 20 days, I'm going to use all of my trailblaze power focusing on her essential materials like cones, traces, and relics. It's gonna be a long journey, so let's get this challenge started, shall we? Hi, I was so excited to start the challenge that I actually started day one in my early Star Wars days. Exact date, you might ask? May 30th. What? Literally, Jing Wan was still in the banner, I was still Trailblaze level 50, and my team was so underleveled. Why am I pre-firing for character that's not even announced yet? Well, I'm kind of crazy, but not at the same time. While we all battle our way to Kafka's Ascension materials for the first and second day, let me explain my plan. Of course, I can't pre-farm everything because it was only version 1.1. The weeklies currently didn't feature what Kafka needed, so my plan was to farm her Ascension materials and traces for the meantime. I was practically saving the days as well for the relic grinds to when I get a higher Trailblaze level to get even more relic drops. And lastly, I then focus only on Kafka for consecutive days. One day is for Kafka materials and the next day was for Sila traces. I decided to record this early because I wanted this video to come out on the first day of Kafka's banner. Sometimes I consider myself a genius, but now that I'm writing the script, it would have made more sense if I started maybe when Loach's banner was about to end because I would have more drops since I was like Trailblaze level 60 at that point. And the video is already delayed because I just started editing everything two days before Kafka's banner. We're off to a great start. Anyways, there's really not much that happened in the first few days. Literally just auto battled my way to eventually getting enough essential materials at the end of day 3. Day 4, I had something to do to spice up our video. When in Genshin, there's something we always hated to do like fishing, exploring the desert, or farming materials like hangouts and specters. In Honkai Star Rail, we have traces farming. Well, honestly, it's not the worst thing ever. Yes, the drops are kind of shit, but because of auto battle, you can literally play another game while you're farming traces in Honkai. Penta, Penta, give me Penta, go! Give me Penta, go! What the fuck, man? Me Penta! What's up? You call me Faker. It's usually the best feature ever. Well, until auto battle fucks you up and your team dies. That barely happens to Galaxus though. Unless you play characters like Arlen. Wait, does anyone even play Arlen? Anyways, day four and five was focused around Obsidian Traces because I badly need them. Not only for Kafka, but also for her Nihility focused team because they need a lot. So at the end of day four and five, we now have a few we can play with. For day six, however, I stopped with the trace farming and wanted to Gamba. What I meant for Gamba was relics or artifacts if you play Genshin. At the time of this recording, the relic plan was simple. I'm gonna run a 4 piece sizzling thunder with either attack percentage or effect hit rate body and speed boots. As for the ornaments, I will go for a 2 piece space ceiling station. The balls are gonna be lightning damage bonus and the rope will be attack percentage. The subsets you want on your pieces are either speed, attack percentage, effect hit rate or break effect. Just to be clear, this is not a guide on how to build her. There's a ton more options as the main stat but this is my plan for the build on this video. For in-depth guides on how to build her, I recommend watching Zags or Sevi's videos. I'll leave their links in the description if you haven't checked them out yet. Anyways, the relic grind for day 6 didn't really go that well. We got a possible hand piece because of their break effect, but overall, day 6 was an L. Our luck is still shit. <laughs> Even in fucking Star Rail. Yes. Day 7 was a big day. Well, not necessarily for Kafka though. You see, I did get Trebles level 60 while I was farming simulated universe for my other characters. I did remember to put the recording on the Kafka folder and marked it as day 7. But I completely forgot to farm for Kafka materials but instead I did the trial and spent my trailblaze power on Sila. Yeah, I, think I still consider myself a genius. Anyways, I took a big pause for Kafka's pre-farm and returned at day 8 for the time to reward traces. I only did it for the last day of the event though but it still got a hefty amount from the event. Starting day 9 though, the new main quest reminded me of the Kafka video. It was finally time to solely focus on building her because the weekly drops that she needed has arrived so I got to work and use all of my trailblaze power.
The second part of day 9 was Relic Day. The first two drops of the day was a defense body piece for Jepard, and miraculously some speed boots for Kafka. I quickly equipped them on Arlen for now, and also equipped this hands piece with speed and attack percentage. The next run was yet another good one because I got an attack body with decent substats. The next few runs were pretty much all Jepard pieces, but when I level up the hands to level 3, the last substat was Break Effect. I went all in and maxed it out, and this is what I got. The first piece of Kafka was a success, and overall, Day 9 was a big W. We're halfway through the challenge, and I'm still doing fucking traces. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know why I hate farming traces that much. Anyways, you already know where my power went. I honestly don't even know how much I need. All I know is you need a lot to max out a single character alongside their light gun. For Day 11, while I was doing commissions, I actually got Trailblaze level 65. You know what that means? Yep, more Gamba, baby. <laughs> Anyways, I finished the trial with ease, got a few J's, and did a few standard wishes. As I got Trailblaze level 65, which means there's two guaranteed 5 star drops now with a chance of getting 3, I started doing frequent relic runs. The first piece was an outgoing healing body, and the second piece was yet another speed boots. Second drop there was an attack boots, which I really don't need, but the final drop was a headpiece. I rolled it as well to level 3 and got this. Since I was still saving for the perfect drop, I didn't level up to the max and waited for the next relic run. For the second part of day 11, I finally got to do some simulated universe runs. It's been so long since I did world level 3, I still have unclaimed players rewards on some low levels. Well, it's finally time to get some balls and roofs for Kafka. But you know what time it is as well? Me promoting my channel while I do auto battle. <laughs> oh, if you're watching to this point and you are enjoying the video, you might as well sub to the channel and turn on notifications, right? Like the video as well if you want to and comment who's the next character I should build, either from the current lineup or future upcoming characters. I'm trying to hit 10k subs at the end of the year, so if you watch my content before and haven't subbed yet, why not, right? It's free and makes a boy happy. Follow me on Twitch as well or even join my Discord community. Everyone's normal there. <laughs> I hope so, right, chat? Some scratch can be let out of the basement, huh? This is against my will. Okay, chat. What the fuck? Hi, YouTube. Subscribe to Frapple Sensei so Yelan can step on you. Ryu says balls. Delta says balls. And now Kabuto. Hello, YouTube. Hope you're having a miserable day. These comments are going on YouTube, by the way. I literally told them. Truly a weird community. What the fuck have I done? <laughs> Anyways, the first drop ornaments are the ones we don't even need. Surely the second drop gives us something. The third drop at least gave me what I could work with, but the last drop was... I got the wrong set again, baby. Yeah, today's not that day. I used the rest of the Trailblaze power to the most beautiful place in the Honka universe, the fucking Traces Galaxy. Another day, another Copium Relic day. The first drops were pretty much balls, second ones are kinda okay, third drop was a little bit better, but I don't really need a crit damage body since DOTs don't crit, and the last drop was more Jepard pieces. If I don't have a strong Jepard at the end of this, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I claimed my dailies for today and called it a night. Day 13 was a monthly reset day, so that means we can buy more warps for embers. I've of course bought and saved the limited ones for Kafka and just wished away on the standard. But what I didn't expect to get, especially with 7 pity, was this. No way, just got another early. Oh my god! I just got Clara! I just got Clara! Oh my god! I felt so lucky that day that I did some relic farms instead of going for guaranteed upgrades, but then... Well, I got humbled quickly. Went back to my trace farming that night and cried myself to sleep. For day 14, a new event has arrived, and thank god this event came in clutch. As you can tell, I have not obtained a two-piece ornament yet for Kafka, and this event will help out a lot. Well, that's what I thought until I claimed my first drop. This is not a good start. The second drop was nasty though with an imaginary damage boost ball and that's pretty much it. The third drop and the last drop had at least decent ropes I can potentially level. I came back to the simulated universe after I got more trailblaze power and did more ornament farming. But what I didn't expect from this session was this. Damn! The fun doesn't stop there cause literally the next piece was... Hey, that's pretty good. Although the rest of the drops were all shit. 
balanced as everything should be. Anyways, the last subs for the rope I just got was effect hit rate. But when I went all in, it turned out to be a decent piece for Kafka. The crits don't really matter as much and I would have preferred attack and speed, but what can I fucking do, you know? I leveled up some speed boots as well to the max and got some decent rolls. Overall, I'd say day 14 was a big W. 7 out of 10 for sure. The next day was pretty much similar to yesterday. I did more ornament farming because of the event and got more godly balls, but not the ones I needed. I did some relic farming as well, got a few headpieces, leveled some potential ones to level 3, and used the rest of my trailblaze power for the traces. For day 16, I plan to max out my relics and just feed them for when I get better substats. But before that, I did some relic runs in the morning, but I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get a single good one. Triple drop. Triple shit once again. I started with my effect hero buddy and getting break effect as the last substat. The final few stats look even better since it went to attack percentage and crit damage. Now this is a Kafka piece. Side note, you probably need attack percentage instead of effect hit rate. Apparently, EHR is only really good when you have E1 and the signature light cone. I don't know, that's what the guide said. I just follow whatever the fuck everyone is saying. I leveled up my headpiece as well to max and got some okay-ish rolls. <laughs> Alas, I now have maxed out relics, exploding the balls because I still have to get a lightning damage main stat. Later that night, I prepped my traces to the purple ones and the green ones to the blue ones. I still needed a lot after, so I just used my tribalist power on more traces. My quest to find lightning balls continued on stream, hoping for stream more luck to save me. In voiceover, Frapple can finally take a break. I probably should stream this game more when I do 20 day challenges. Locking is hard, man. Alright, we'll do we'll do this thing. Maybe we'll have a bit of luck on, on stream. Oh, alright, let's see our first reward of the stream. First time streaming this game in a bit. Let's see. We don't get we didn't get the right set, but they're decent. Not really. They're balls. Or to you while I go on Twitter and it's easy to see. Oh wait, are you are you that one really? I mean like people actually enjoy my stuff. Wait, my fucking lotion died! Oh hold on. Let me play, let me play. No! Please don't die. Ah! Bleat. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Watch this, watch this. No, that's still fucking counters. Don't die. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, we got it. Surely he can't counter when I die, right? Or when he dies? How are you not dead? Please. Oh my fuck. All right, we're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. We're chilling. Lightning damage bonus, please. Come on. Lightning damage balls. Are you fucking serious? Fuck. Spike. All right, maybe I'm not lucky on stream. Streamer luck does not exist at all. Yeah, even streamer luck couldn't save me. Anyways, the first part of day 18 was focused around traces. After spending my tribal's power, I did my dailies and checked my jade's counter. I know my jade count looks slow right now, but I do have a trump card. Well, my credit card, but yeah. The second part of day 18 was more traces farming and did my final weekly. There's less than three more days until Kafka arrives and two more days until this challenge finishes. Day 19 has arrived and we are at the final stretch. Today is reset day for the simulated universe, but I still wasn't lucky enough to get some lightning balls well i did get one but not on the right set although what i'm about to do next might cancel my f2p card Hi. oh no thank you so much for the donation Listen, the Kafka icon was too cute and I needed the battle pass rewards anyways because they give a lot of materials. Plus, they gave some Jays as well to help us get Kafka. Speaking of Jays, the next part was Lishimi being F2P grinding out events for extra Jades. If I'm not the most F2P player ever, then I don't know who is. I finished the event in no time and we now have roughly 60 wishes with 30 pity. Finally moving on to the last day, Frappu couldn't handle it anymore with the voice hours, so he asked me to take over. This is the last chance for him to get a lightning damage ball, but he kept on getting it on a different set or a different damage ball altogether. He pretty much lost hope on getting one, but then he remembered that relic crafting is a thing in Honkai. So he salvaged his pieces to get relic remains and exchanged them for more balls, but he wasn't so lucky the first few trials until... <laughs> He went all in and got a lot of crit damage rolls. It, it's not a Kafka piece, but it will do for now. Also, this guy really fed his good piece into a mid one. Like, didn't you learn from the last time? This is a very, very big gamma, but I'm doing it. I believe in the Frapple luck. Watch. Watch. A 
After a few hours, it was time to prepare for what Kafka needed. He needed one more weekly boss, so he did it quickly and the rest of the treeless power went into the traces. He prepared all those plaster looking thingies to the ones he needed and then it was just time to wait for Kafka to finally arrive. Is it my girl just the cutest? If you're curious who just did the day 20 voiceover, her name is Angelina. She's an upcoming VTuber that streams on Twitch and plans on making Genshin videos in the future. So go give her a follow. I'll leave her channel links in my description for you guys to check out. Anyways, the day has finally come. Kafka is here. Hi, Oh, wait, hold on, no, wait a minute. All right, what is up, YouTube? Party for Kafka. I'm not doing a long intro because I can't do that, but yeah. Come visit us, twitch.tv forward slash Frapple Sensei. We don't stream Honkai a lot, but we're just here to have fun, you know? But today we are pulling for Kafka. We have exactly 65 pulls. Oh my God, this is literally 65. 65 pulls, I think we're at 30 pity, so we should be enough to go for a five star, but I kind of want her weapon as well. So I hope we win our 50-50 and get at least like uh, the character or the, the light going early. 20, 20. 25, 30. Oh, 29, but yeah. Hope you lose. Shut up, bro. Dude, fucking chat is already, is already cursing me. Yeah, I guess we're gonna get pissed. What if, what if I get Kafka right here right now? All right, let's start. This is 40 pity. What if, right? What if? Nope. Okay, no early. No early. It's not early. Okay, I need, I need that guy. What's his name? Luca. Luca, come on. Give us Luca. Okay. So, Sampo's nice. I'm building Sampo anyways, but I would like a new character. It's the first temple after a while. This is 40 pity. Wait, 40 50. I don't fucking, I don't know how to count. Anyways. Okay, fuck. Okay, she might go hard pity. We might go hard pity chat. We have another sample. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, Kafka, please come home. I need at least a bit to use on your weapon, please. Come home, Kafka. Nope. Fuck. We have another sample. It's double four star. All right, this should be it, I think. I, is it? Wait, is this it? I'm not even sure. But I hope it is. Please, Kafka, come home. <laughs> Double servo. Okay, You're getting lucky in the four star department, though. Come on, Kafka, please, please. I literally bought the battle pass for you. That's a five star right there. Okay, please let me, Kafka. Please, I don't want to stop. Please, 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 please. I want to be F two P. I want to be F two P so badly. I will get you your weapon. Just come home. Right here. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me. It's Kafka. Kafka. Do I smell a double? Um, no. Kafka's home! Let's go! Oh my god, I was not prepared to spend there. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, we want the light cone as well, but we're at... <laughs> the last time I was pulled was on Sila's banner. So, uh, I hope we have enough, right? What if we get an early, you know? Just saying, an early could be nice. An early could be nice. Oh! Okay, okay, wait. 75 or 25. 75 or 25, please. Surely, right? Yeah, eyes of the prey. That's fucking good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. There's no shot. There is no shot. <laughs> oh my god. Truly one of a fucking Kafka main. Ah. Sure, surely we don't get lucky again. <laughs> what if, right? What if I piss off chat right now? What if I piss off chat? <gasps> oh! Ah! 
complaining, right? It's an early. It's an early. At least it was an early. Oh my god, that scared the fuck out of me, bro. That literally scared the fuck out of me. That's the first fucking double fun star. Holy shit. Chat, what do we say? Do we go for another five star or what? One more? I I mean, yeah, someone said one more. So surely, surely it's another, not another five star, right? Okay, we're good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We just tested, we just tested out the waters, okay? <laughs> ah, it's in your light cone. That's nice. All right, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, time to level her up. Max up Kafka, baby. I should have enough to max this as well. Boom, maxed out light cone. Level 80 light cone as well. New achievement, okay. All right, so for the traces, I guess we'll unlock all of these first because I'm assuming these are the most like, important ones. Yeah, activate right now. Activate you. Activate you. I have everything as well, at least for the weeklies. I plan to max her out, so. Should have a maxed out ult now. And a maxed out E. We now have a maxed out Kafka. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh this is our Kafka for now. For 20 days, I would say it's not bad. So uh, we'll test her out now without the C1 first. But I have to level up shampoo. Where the fuck shampoo? Ayonara. Oh, 108. Oh, okay. Watch this. 200k. 135. It keeps on increasing. 125. 125. Yo. Let's see the damage. 300k. 216. See the damage. The E damage first and the ult. 100k? Oh fuck. I should have clicked the R first. Boom. <laughs> Dude, my game is lagging. More defense stuff and then we ult. 129k. Sayonara. T50. Oh, no, last time. <laughs> I can't even do anything, bro. Fucking hell, this, this fucking broken. Apply every fucking DOT possible. 27k damage already. One Kafka ease is 65k, and then one ult without any other DOTs is 100k. 125. Let's do that. With the E. 152k E. Holy, how about the ult? Oh, 215. 250. 196. It's not bad. Alright, this should be it. 300k. Boom. 271. Almost 300. Please don't die. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. We got it. We got it. 300k again. Wait, how much was that? Wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait a minute. How much was that? Please don't die. Okay, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, again. Yeah, he just 800, bro! <laughs> 322k! Well, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and uh, sorry again, this video came out so late, but yeah, like, I guess stuff happened. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you haven't yet, click that like button, and maybe that subscribe button as well. It really means a lot. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, or a wonderful night. Thank you again for watching. That's it for me. See you guys next time.